Welcome back to Paint. Paint. <sighs> right. Now, before we do the whole gun thing, I just want to let you guys know, like, I have the list here. It's kind of daunting. There's a lot of... It's, it's components from powerful creatures oh. that will make this particular mech very, very powerful. You can handle this. Right. We ain't scared. Okay. The first item is... He's got it. I need... Yeah. I need... No, I'm trying to write. Oh. An eye is how I write. of a beholder. Oh, uh, there's about this. Uh, we get to half the barrel. <laughs> well, if we find one, we can get you about 50. Great. No, like the big one. Oh. Yeah. Although, although, the stalks would be a great bonus. So, the what? The stalks. Eye stalks. Have you seen a beholder? Yeah, you, know, yeah. you know what a beholder yeah. is? Have you yeah. seen a beholder before? <clears throat> it's like that thing right. in Doom. That is for. Um, I have all things. Beams. Like beams. Okay. Beams. Like beams. Beams okay. are good. I'm going to need 500 rock feathers for, you know, flight purposes. Fuck, it's going fly. You know what a rock is, right? Yeah. yeah of course. Fly them all the time. Yeah. It's a gargantuan bird. Yeah, we fight them all the time. We kill them all the time. <laughs> I'm sure you do. We definitely kill <laughs> fucking dragons all the time. That's for what? For a I sure. need... Uh, that's for flight. Um, we're going to need the heart of an adult red dragon. That's a little trickier. You would need a crocodile head, would you? I happen to have a crocodile head for, helmet. If you for additional <laughs> firepower. You also have a normal head, too. <laughs> a, a snake fang in my, in my pack? You would like that, too? Um, these next two, I hope, are not overly disheartening. <laughs> As if the red dragon heart. <clears throat> I, I don't know why that would be disheartening at all. This sounds like a great, great time. For improved controls and some other neat little features that I would um, like to add to this particular mech. <sighs> I kind of don't to tell you this one. We're going to need an elder brain. An elder brain? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, oh. That's not even the worst one. But how do we, how do we so get wait, there? Why don't we transport it? How do we do something? These things are freaking huge! Oh, right. We we'll have a we'll get to that, actually. I have a plan for that. Okay. Just, just, plan for just, just bear with me there. Like, <coughs> bigger than this room. The final right. thing okay, for good. Good. Yeah, they have a, hold it. a beastly weapon. Oh... <coughs> No, no, <laughs> not a terrorist. <laughs> like, and we're done. And we're done. We're going to need. I say need. Um, the horn of an abyssal demon. Actually, yes. Oh, okay. The whip, whip. of a Baylor. Okay. <laughs> so if we can get everything to make now, it operational. Can we go for the like the the bigger stuff using the mech? Like if we can get like the stuff to make it actually move and, and do basic functions, can we use the mech to go after like the Baylor or mm. Well, technically yes. I, well I I have all of the parts I need to get it functional. Okay. The problem is honestly, it won't really last that long without proper implementation. Okay. <laughs> and again, that list is rather daunting. Yeah, so um, say that. it's it's very piece of cake. Piece uh, of chrome cake. Now you, you don't have anything here that you could just throw something together. 
Yeah, just well, just, uh, just add a little what bit. What's that crumb again? <coughs> what? Oh, it's piece of cake. Piece of crumb cake. Got a little less than that. <laughs> oh, I always remember that part. Yeah, that's the only part I really remember. <laughs> that and a really sad story about how he dies. Like that's a really sad story. Okay. <coughs> Thanks for ruining it. Yeah, it's really sad. <coughs> that said, and sort of um, provided now. As far as the like weaponry goes, right? Any large enough weapon is fine. If you don't want to use the Baylor, it could be any other sort of enormous weapon <coughs> that you find along the way, or whatever. That's fine. But the whip would make for a very nice um, reaching whip. type weapon. The, Which would probably be useful for what right. we're going after. Which would make us invul Oh no, the Baylor will come last. We just gotta buy it. Who is gonna. Who's got a fucking Baylor with this? There is spin. one person. There's somebody we out there that's got one. Spin. We just yeah. need to reach out to Sven. Sven might have something yeah. like this. Sven probably has all of this. Sven. We gotta yeah, ask that motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, so we get all this for you. Sven so can do yeah. your day. So and you're showing this, this wall of your, your armory. Are you, guess this is okay. what you're planning on? Right, okay. As for weaponry, that will assist in the gaining of this. First of all, yeah. um, it does use ammunition. Or... Um, <coughs> These are, the term I, I believe I used in, in my book is uh, caster rifles. <coughs> it's also a term that they use in an outlaw star, an outlaw star <laughs> interestingly enough. But <coughs> these will allow you to, this is just sort of the short version. <coughs> With the ammunition, you just fire the ammunition, not a problem. The ammunition is going to be very rare. Uh, as a matter of fact, you'd probably have to make it yourselves rather than being able to buy it anywhere. <laughs> Just because the technology isn't. Really but my right. bare hands. <laughs> well, I now, do. an alternative route for that is you can fire the weapon without ammunition, but it drains your life force. Oh. <clears throat> it does damage to you when you fire it. Because it, cause it either uses the Artec of the bullet or the art, art, or the Technos from yourself. Uh, which can be restored of course with the rest. And I guess he's kind of going to give us the schematics to be able to make said ammunition as well. Uh, he will teach you how to make the ammunition. You will need a caster for that sort of thing. Okay. Do you think of the smashing variety? <laughs> Hmm. Smashing. I'm not really much of a pew pew uh, kind of guy. A ranged weapon user, as you can tell by my pew. bear form. Okay. Um, <laughs> pew pew guns. See. He does not love pew or, pew guns. Uh, well, actually, it wouldn't even have to be like a weapon if you have any type of uh, you know, armor or, or or something of the sort. Uh, a mech suit. <laughs> a, well, a smaller <laughs> mech suit. Buzzer. We'll get to that part. Right. Um, you mean so something a la Iron Man? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's the no. Person that's... No. And mostly because that would be OP. <laughs> um, you know how I like to be OP. Like... Tony, yeah. Tony Stark leveled up a lot the day he invented that suit. <laughs> Went from one to epic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, in the day. How much damage does that do? Hang on. Trying to figure that out. Bullets. That's just guns. Uh, okay. Ooh. Right. The first thing he takes out <coughs> is a bandolier that has uh, five sort of um, holster type locations. <coughs> the bandolier itself has 
magical runes that you know etched, etched all over it. And um, <clears throat> within each of the pockets, there's a sort of glowing canister, <clears throat> and it rain. It it actually kind of um, the color varies, like orange, green, purple. It changes colors. These are Artec grenades. Ooh. And <coughs> Grenada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The canister, or rather the bandolier itself, is designed to regenerate the grenades once per day. Uh, kind of a neat little dimension of mine. And when you throw them, they, well, actually, because this is kind of a wide area, he takes one out, and he kind of pushes a button on it, and chuck, kind of chucks it out, and it will explode in a, it's a 20 foot radius. Nice. Nice. <coughs> and how many is on this? Uh, five. five. <coughs> it does each each grenade does five d six damage. The uh, <coughs> it's a dexterity saving throw of fifteen, and so if they fail it, it's full. If they that's see, that's it's half. <coughs> What's interesting about these grenades is that where the button is, there's kind of, it's, it's like segmented, kind of like pizza slices almost, and there's um, like there's a fire rune, ice, lightning, acid, and thunder. So you can do various elemental damage types. Cool. That's dope as hell. That's pretty dope. <coughs> and those will regenerate after a long rest. A long rest. That is pretty awesome. You say there's a little button. Like, mm -hmm. So it's similar to. Actually, you may not. You may not remember this. In the second cell swords uh, book mm -hmm. with the Artemis or Jarlaxle when they go in the. Uh, the, the <clears throat> castle that has the Draco legend in the bottom. Ugh, he has yeah. the, he has the little figurine, the dragon figurine that he could, that he could set to which breath attack it would do. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. <clears throat> That's pretty. Uh, John likes those stuff. Pretty awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Salvatore just like. Now eh, I don't feel like explaining this. Charles Axel has the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You would probably um, do well with that. No, yeah, that sounds good to me. It's not like a gun or anything. You just throw it. Right. Press the button. You throw it. I can throw stuff. Throw. <laughs> run in. I've been and, I've been doing the throw things. And and you're you're strong enough to get it f far enough out to not you know okay. explode okay, other folks. That is, <laughs> that is not bad. That's not bad at all. <laughs> Indeed not. 5d6? Yeah. Sweet. Um, We're going to name it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to think about that. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I'm very hopeful about what yeah. else we're, <laughs> we're going to get here. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. Okay. All right. Well, we are fighting some crazy shit. The well, it's, it's just I I just made it five, so you kind of have to pick and choose where you use it. <clears throat> Does anyone have the sharpshooter feet? You do. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Guess who's gonna be a sniper? Less, less help. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
I would shit my pants if I actually get the sniper in this game. <laughs> like, I, I would be so happy right Headshot. now. Yeah. Headshot. <laughs> yeah. Headshot. Fuck it, no scope. No scope. <laughs> 360! He's, he's okay, scope. so he's going to take out... He does. He pulls out a sniper. Oh. He's like, you're 360 no scope. Just spin around and shoot. Oh. <laughs> he does pull Sanity. out a sniper rifle. That's mine, guys. Fuck hell. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why I would have this, but I was just gonna hold it. Look at Chum Pot. That'd be awesome. Now you need to make some notes on this. Believe me, I will. Uh, I want to actually ask him real quick. What the? What do these javelins do? The different R tech. Will they do anything? Um. Prime it where you throw at it. Right. Bigger. Well, <laughs> the trouble with unfocused R tech is. No, I don't know. Could be good, could be bad. All right, I like it. So, <laughs> wow, <wild> card. <laughs> don't really know until you throw it what's going to happen. Yes. So. <laughs> Either help us a lot or hurt us real bad. It's pretty volatile. Yeah. Excellent. I like this. All right. <laughs> um, now, the. This particular rifle is designed to destroy living flesh. Okay? So it's not very effective against inanimate objects or um, like golems, things like that. <coughs> the ammunition and, and this will actually take a little bit of time to show you how to work the gun and how to make the ammo. So, like, you guys are going to be down here for a little while. All right, long rest or uh, well, it's going to be a little while longer than that. Probably a couple of days. Okay. Sweet. <coughs> you have see dru your druidic magic. Can I take the grenades out and like, put them in? Do my you have any spells that do necrotic damage? I'm just curious. Here, you look at this, I'm gonna look at mine. Uh, I have a question, as far as those grenades go. Well, um, I would say so. I mean, if like you said, as a druid, I could kind of do all my spells itself. Like, so it regenerates the bandolier. What if I just took the grenades out and put them in my bag of holding and then... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's, it, <coughs> it limits to five. Just in existence at the time? Right. This might be easier. Dang. This is actually I'll take one. No, no, this is fine. This <laughs> have a bag full of grenades and just put it in check of it. What is magic infinite loops, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Damn. No. no. Oh, well. Flame blade, plus of one. Relocate. Damn. I don't think you have anything. We can actually, though, like, I can probably adjust the, uh, damage type. Fair enough. <coughs> fire, ice, lightning, fire. let's see, acid. Um, fire, ice, lightning, acid. Damn, I think I had, I only, I think I only had, like, one spell that did that, like, I could alternate between them. No, wait, that might have been my other character. Yeah, I, I don't think you have any. <coughs> we can actually adjust that, though. It's fine. <coughs> right. The range of this is 120 feet slash 360 feet, which is, you know, tremendous amount of distance. Although, I guess for you, because you're a sharpshooter, it's just the, the uh, 360. Yeah. <clears throat> it has two shots at a time. And... <laughs> does 6d8 necrotic damage. The thing to note here, though, because of the rounds, okay, first of all, and this will just be kind of a generalized rule, mm -hmm. okay, um, if you're firing any of the caster guns without ammunition, 
you will take half of the damage that you deal. <coughs> um, the ammunition for this particular gun is going to cost <coughs> For now, we'll say 500 gold pieces per shot to make. Just in terms of parts and etc. Especially <laughs> components. Yeah, specialty components. <clears throat> so, ammo, 500 shots, takes half damage dealt. Yeah. 360 feet. If, if you police your brass. You can use, you can reuse the shells for 300 per shell. Alright. Now. So, just real quick. How many, uh, you can give me like, you know, how many, how many shots do I have right now? You have ten shots. I just happen to have ten rounds available. Lucky me! That's, yeah. that's 85 kills. <laughs> <coughs> okay. And, by the way, um, you will have to be in a location to purchase parts for... Town like, or something. Yeah. yeah. It's not something that you can just find out in the wilderness when you're kind of out and about. So. Is there like a... So, I know I can't go to the storefront. It can't, okay, just say for future reference, can I just say, I'd like to buy three shots for this gun, and we it'll just default 500, or yeah. I'm like, <clears throat> three shots reusable because I took these cartridges off this body. Right. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Exactly. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> there is a... Well, let's see here. That is exciting. <laughs> There's a series of uh, rifles that can be used. <clears throat> Not in the vein of the sniper rifle damage, because that's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we're going to have to limit that somewhat, because, you know, <laughs> so we don't break the game. Uh, Why? <laughs> Let me break it. So, wait. Two shots, one action. Uh, no. Two shots, action, bonus action? No. I don't have to move. You get one shot per action. <laughs> you said it. It's two shots loaded. You have to reload you, it. You can put two, two rounds in. Yeah, it's... It's two shots before you have to reload. I see. And it's an action to reload. <coughs> Wait, Marksman. No. Fuck. Sorry, bro. Why did I use that feed anyways? <laughs> <laughs> That's great for crossbows. Yeah. This is a totally different thing. I don't even know what this is. I'm going to call it a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. It says it. <laughs> Yep. We have Hasty some rifles. Who is going to get a rifle? Take a rifle. Kind of like. Does I want one? I mean, is that a, that's all he's got? Rifles. What are you looking for? I don't know. I'm sure I can come up with something. If from, you know what you're looking from, for. From, uh, uh, what's that game where you're killing gods? Uh, it was like the throwing, like a like something that extends out a blade that you can leash out and like get distance, but it's still like a scimitar. <laughs> scimitar. <laughs> Skimmies. <laughs> huh. I could probably create something like that. I don't that have anything cool. like that on hand. Because you can maybe use it to yeah, I'll, I'll kill take, walls. I'll take a rifle, but... I'm kind of kind of curious on what else is going to be thrown out on the table here. I mean, if if, if he's a manipulator of our tech and that sort of <coughs> stuff, he certainly is. Um, 
I'm very partial to the to these blades that I have, but I'm curious if there if there's any way that we could enhance their their magical uh, pro properties. Mm, I see. And uh, what do these blades do? So real quick, just let's say I whips them out. This one, as 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 you may be able to see, there's just like little 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 hum around it. Pulls out Thunderthorn. Has has an electrical uh, property that when when so whenever made contact with an enemy, mm -hmm. so releases a, a a discharge. That ah. interesting. And the other one. And the other one <clears throat> is is more of a keen blade that uh, not, oh. not necessarily uh, any sure. active gotcha. any active magical properties, but it, uh, when when used in the correct way, is able to do a little bit more damage in in most cases. Hmm. Okay. God. <laughs> Rainer. <clears throat> right. So we're actually out of time. So we're going to finish the discussion of weaponry and such off screen, and then uh, we'll sort of dive back into it once we finish that up, so. Later!